my favorite part always. To the channel now it has been a minute since i've been putting a video up here but today we've got a big event and it warrants being a whole video of its own it is arsenal first porto in the champions league at the emirates currently we're one nil down on aggregate so a big result is needed from the boys today sorry if i sound a bit uh <clears throat> i have been sick so that would be why but as always when we're going to arsenal game gotta pick what kit to wear first here we go, we're talking kits, Arsenal kits, what we've got, Stella McCartney, we've got last season, season, retro, 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 one of my favourites of all time, will never be beaten, that makes me very, very sad by the way, um, that's potential, oh, no, I'm, out. Yeah, I'm done, I'm done, I'm wearing this, I'm wearing this with Burkamp on the back, that's me for today, I do have a couple others in there, but that's the quickest decision I've ever made, I don't think I've ever worn this to the Emirates, so that could be why. Alrighty, kit is on. I can't explain. It's been so long since I've been to the Emirates. I genuinely just can't wait. Have a go at this kit as well. Unbelievable. Probably potentially one of the best kits of all time. Drop it in the comments what you think the best Arsenal kit of all time is. Um, and I'll get back to you if I agree with you or if I don't. I need to fix this here, man. This is all a mess because I'm travelling soon. But one kit that wasn't in the wardrobe that is potentially obviously one of the best arsenal kits of all time is the bruised banana um i could be wearing that or my first ever arsenal kit from 2000 2002 but we're going with this and of course we're gonna need something warm so for something warm we have this bad boy right here it's the art of football arsenal embroidered kit and i'm literally wearing one of the kits which is on the hoodie and i have that one as well and i need to get the other ones that's poor for me but we're rocking the hoodie um we need to get on the move. As you can tell, I'm moving around quite quickly because we've got to get to the game. But currently, I'm making some noodles. Um, this is going to be dinner. Best noodles ever, if you know, you know. You don't need to know about that. We're here to watch football. Alrighty, we're off. We're on the move. We're heading in to the Emirates. And you can't see me. I'm a shadow. But as you can tell, for somebody who's been very sick and struggling a lot recently, I found a lot of energy. I have a lot of excitement for this. We're going to go link up with Jack and Mark. Can't wait. We've made it on the train. We're making progress. Alrighty, we're on the wander to the Emirates now and we're walking past the famous Arsenal Station. What a place. Also, there's so much memorabilia and cool stuff around, but also a lot of people, which makes it quite hard to vlog when walking through. Here it is, the first glimpse of the beautiful stadium. It's about now that I start to get. Stupid excitement. As you can see by a smile on my face, it's been a minute since I've been here. And this vibe, all these people, all going to one place for the same reason, builds excitement. But I need to walk around the Emirates to the club shop to find Jack and Mark. That's the aim. We've made it to the armory. I'm, I'm not going in because every time I go in this place, I end up spending money. But this is a very worthwhile trip. Apparently, Jack's buying a scarf, so I'm going to wait for these boys at the exit. Hopefully, that music isn't too loud. Match day vibes, Champions League nights at the Emirates. Let's go. You'll never guess who we found. We found the boys. We've got fresh scarves and everything. We're outside the stadium. Holly's on her way. We're going to go find our turnstile. We're going to head in. I think we're clocking, which is going to be sick. It's time, we found Holly, we're headed in, almost through the turn stops. Thank you! That's alright! We ain't top now, we ain't top now, we ain't top now, we ain't top now. Moment of truth, as always, doesn't stand. We've made it in, the vibes are immaculate, it's pumping in there. We made it in, it's always scary, but it'll take us a week. Now we've got to go find our seats. We've got to head up some stairs. 
time. This is my favourite part always. I say this on every single video that I'm at a stadium. It's the walking out and seeing the fish. Oh, I can't wait. This is unbelievably sick. It's just different seeing that Champions League banger on the middle of the pitch as well. I can't wipe the smile off my face. It's early, but we've got to do this every time we come. We've got to do match predictions. Holly, score prediction. Um, <laughs> it's not a dance break. Um, two, one to Arsenal. That might not be enough, but we'll take it. Really? Score prediction, Mark. Uh, three nil to the Arsenal. Come on. Oh, I like that. That's in conversation, so we'll get his later. I want to back Mark, but I think we'll just go two nil to the Arsenal. Just oh. enough. Get the job done. Reserved. Very reserved. I reckon it's actually going to be four, but who knows? Porto put up a great fight when we played them at home, but now it's our turn to play at home. Um, fun fact, by the way, tonight it's not called the Emirates, it's called Arsenal Stadium. Um, and that is to do with, Mark told me this earlier, it's to do with the naming rights. Yeah, yeah. Because Emirates isn't a UCL sponsor. No, UEFA Champions League sponsor, therefore, can't be the Turkish Airlines Stadium, can it? So, no. It's the Arsenal Stadium we'll have to do. The more you know, mate, you're learning over here on the channel. The more you know. Team announcement. Hey! Number 20, Jorginho. Number 20. before the game, especially Champions League light show, and I can't wait for the Champions League anthem as well, but I'm going to have to be careful not to film for too long.
and it's heated. Every time they're already trying to time waste, so the booze are ringing out. Oh, uh, and Arsenal have possession. Oh my days. Uh, uh, but yeah, you'll definitely say Arsenal are the dominant side of this point. Set for. Uh, that was far, far too close. First Arsenal attacking set piece. but we're not getting clear goal scoring chances so see how this next 10 minute goes and we're only got 45 minutes Showing up for the second half. Arsenal are out. Porto must have gone out. Yeah, true. That's all I'm Scared. 3 0. 3 0. Porto And there it is. Second half is underway. Come on, the Gunners. Oh, 
Good ball. Another chance. Again. Keep it moving. Balls. Ball. Ball. A good bit of sustained pressure from Arsenal. We've had them camped in their defensive third for a good five, ten minutes now. We just need to get something out of it. Porto's first proper attacking set piece. Millimeters. 
Jesus almost tucked it in as well. Oh, all again. that, all that for another keeper. Don't you dare head on the penalty. Well, that's good distribution. Punching! Challenge. 89th minute, don't uh, count the chickens till they hatch, but we might be sitting here for another 40 minutes of extra time. So uh, a, a grand total of 3 minutes extra time, that's not... Oh, another corner, come on! Another only 3 minutes. We're in the last seconds. He's got cramp and he's literally just called for the stretcher. last train home. We might miss it. Hopefully we make it. I hope you're looking forward to your drive up to Manchester. Yeah, well, to Manchester. <laughs> it's going to be like 4am. Yeah, nice. We go! First half of extra time underway. Come on guys, this is a big 40 minutes. Wait, 15 minutes? Which way? 20 minutes each way. How did I just forget rules of football? <laughs> oh, well, is it? There's been so many fouls that haven't been called. Unbelievable. Then, on. second, get the first. Oh. Oh, Please, no contact. One minute at a time on this last part of the first half of extra time. Um, it's been relatively even. Arsenal probably had better possession, but um, Porto somewhat maybe it's must almost be it for the first half of extra time. And there it is. Uh, Zinchenko's coming on, Kimio off, and somebody else is on, cross out off, and Nelson and on. Come on, guys. 15 minutes. I haven't felt this way about a football game in a long time. Here we go. We're on the way. Okay. Welcome to the game. Let's start. This generally might be Porto's first goal. Down the stairs, oh, 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 oh,
I don't know what the make of that game, to be honest. Got him on pants. Come on. Right. I haven't been nervous like this in a long time. Alright, it's time to find out if the pins are going to be this end or that end. Hopefully, they're this end for you guys, but we shall see. Alright, the pins are going to be down the far end, but that's better because that's the whole band of Arsenal fans, whereas this end has got the away fans. So it's better for the players, it's better worse for you guys watching. I'm terrified for this. I only got our first penalty taker. Woo! Woo! Ah, Odegaard, low and hard bottom left. That's what it means. That's what it means. Come on, Martin!
thoughts? Technically, it's 2-0, right? It's Te yeah, technically.